Uh, this is how you make puffy paint, which is uh, something you can use to paint with that is extremely satisfying, can feel stressful, and also makes very nice feeling artwork after it's dried. So first you need any glue, specifically PVA, and you can just add the glue and when you think you have enough, then you can get shaving cream, um, give it a shake and then you can pour it in and have however much you want, but usually, you can be any amount, but usually I'd recommend twice um, the amount of glue and you can stir. And once you've stirred it up, you can add um, paint or food dye to color it, color it, and then you can paint it and it kind of feels like a cloud. It can be very messy and is good, and it's very good if you like slime. That's how you make puffy paint. Fun, and you can add colors to it, can't you? Yes, it can be metallic, it can be any color. Um, yep. I'm gonna go with green, green, green. Wait, no, no. Yeah. Um, it's something cool. Oh. Yeah, actually, wait, no, I'm gonna go with blue. Yeah, blue, good, blue, 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 blue good. Okay, so, um, if you're coloring it, preferably use dark colors so that you won't have to use a lot of paint for example if i was to make um i don't know um orange i wouldn't want to use this because it would be way too light and i'd have to use an industrial amount to get the color i want and even then because of how light it is i still wouldn't Get the exact colour I desire. However, I, actually, I think that's purple. Um, if you use, oh, it's pretty dark blue. It's very dark. Blue. Very, very dark colour. Then it is e. It is easier to make the colour you want because with the glue and the shaving cream, it will lighten it up and will essentially just make it a whole lot lighter than it actually when you want it to be. So if you can, use the darkest colour of what you want possible. Cause, and as you can see, it's already turning purple. Wow. Which is um, a quite a nice Oh, that's shade. a good purple. Yeah. Pastel unicorn purple. Yes. And if you want it to be even darker because because um, you don't like having a pastel unicorn purple, then you can just <laughs> add more. Uh, you can just add more colour, add more dye. Uh, if you want, you can add glitter. However, I would recommend adding glitter after you've already applied it so that it can show very well and be very clear if you're looking at it that there's glitter. After you've made the puffy paint, you can get some onto a spoon or a brush <laughs> or a popsicle stick and just wow. bonk it on. <laughs> it does not have to be even coat. Just <laughs> bonk it on in a chunk and it will do its own magic. You can just shake it and plop it right there <laughs> and then it will dry and be extremely fun to touch. Yay! And the good thing about puffy paint is you can keep putting it on the same artwork and essentially make a tower mm. that's, that um, also kind of feels like slime and you can touch it. How big was your tower before it, um, on that last layer that's dry? Um, was it How thick was it when you finished it and how much did it go down? It was like... Up to that here. thick. So, so if, if you want it really chunky, you have to make a if you want it really chunky, biggest, then thickest. You have yeah. to make a very big blob. Um, Satisfaction. Yes, Satisfaction. It's very nice to play with. <laughs> like, like this. Um, so if you want to have a big chunk like I do, you don't you don't need to spread it. All you need to do is chuck it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then boop, you can you've got it, and it, when it dries, it will decrease a bit. But if you have such a big amount like I do, then it will still be very very tall. And 
Uh, but this bit has already dried and you can press it, you can pick at it if you like picking at things. Um, you can add more, <laughs> or you can just admire it from a distance as an artwork on, well, wherever you put it. And that's how you make puffy paint. Happy painting. <laughs>